Target blocks allow us to detect projectiles in a way that wasn't possible before, with a single block that can even be moved. Not only that, but they will power the block directly above them, which means that they can be seamlessly integrated into smaller doors such as a 3x3 piston door. So by adding a target block to it, you get what I like to call the target block door, TM. How this door is operated is pretty straightforward. You shoot the target block with any projectile, and the door will toggle its state. As you can see, right now the door is open, but if I shoot the target block, it closes. Now, if I shoot the center, and don't miss, the door will now open with a pretty nice animation in my opinion. I'd like to give a shout out to Labster, the owner of Labcraft, who is linked in the description, for being the inspiration behind this build. He showed a similar door, except that its dimensions were 1x3 instead of a 3x3, so I set upon myself the challenge of creating the first 3x3 version of this concept. I'd also like to thank Eagle, who is as well linked in the description, for making this ridiculously small design after I showed my design. The most impressive part of this door, alongside the size itself, definitely has to be this little circuit at the top that detects when the target block is activated and controls the rest of the door. If we look at my earlier designs, you can see that it used a D-flip flop instead of a set reset latch to control the state of the door. This makes the door bulkier in general, but it did work so I didn't quite bother to change it. I won't get into the details of how this design works since it's pretty big, but also because I want to talk about the one that Eagle created. More specifically, this little circuit at the top. Whenever I shoot this target block, it will power this block. That is going to activate this dropper right here, which will dispense its item up into this dropper. Then, this comparator is going to take an output from that dropper through the subsidium block, and that is going to close the rest of the door. So if we go ahead and shoot it, you can see how this comparator gets activated because the item is now in the upper dropper, and that pretty much closes the door. Now for the opening. When I shoot the target block, it is going to power this block, causing the sticky piston to extend and retract. The observer is going to detect that, powering this obsidian block. Because this dropper is right next to the powered obsidian block, it is going to dispense its item downwards. Then, this comparator is going to deactivate, and that is pretty much how the door opens. Now, keep in mind that when Eagle designed this door, he was going only for size and not animation. That is why it has an interesting animation, to say the least. When I make doors, especially if they're for tutorial, I tend to focus more on the animation rather than the size since that's the part that you're going to be seeing the most, so that is why I made this design. With that being said, let's begin the tutorial. Now I'm looking at Eagle's design right now because I know for a fact that some people are going to want to build it, so I've put a materials list in the description. Just keep in mind that when you're building this and when you've paused the video that there has to be an item inside of the lower dropper, so the one right there, and an item inside of that minecart with chest. We are going to begin this tutorial with the piston layout. Now once you have your 3x3 hallway built up, you're going to start off by placing a target block right here, and this is the very target block that you're going to be shooting with a projectile, a solid block, a sticky piston, three temporary blocks, remove those two, place two normal pistons, and then you can remove this piston at the top. On the side right here, place two temporary blocks, then three sticky pistons going upwards facing the center. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, except that right here, you're going to place two sticky pistons on the very bottom. Then you're going to place two more on top of that. You can remove these temporary blocks. Now at the bottom, you're going to place one, two, three, four temporary blocks, and then one, two, three, four sticky pistons facing upwards. And believe it or not, that is actually the entire piston layout done. With the piston layout now in place, it is time to begin with the redstone. I will start with what is probably the heart of this contraption, the set reset latch. So place a dropper facing upwards right there, and another one facing back into that dropper right there. Go ahead and place an elytra, or really just any non-stackable item in the lower dropper. Grab an immovable block, and place it right there. No, a redstone torch is not an immovable block. Then place an observer facing upwards right here, a solid block right here, and a comparator right there. At the bottom, what you're going to want to do is place a block here, another block down here, a redstone torch, and then two pieces of redstone dust. Then up here, what you're going to want to do is place a redstone torch, then a piston facing downwards right here, another redstone torch, and some redstone dust right there. Then you're going to place a block here, another block right there, two pieces of redstone dust, a block, another block, then you're going to grab your repeater and place it right there. Grab a redstone torch and place it right there. Then place two blocks right here, two redstone dust right there, a redstone torch, and then on this side, you're going to have it go down like this, 
connecting to this sticky piston with an observer on its face. Then you're going to run the redstone signal down, place a redstone torch right there with the block and some redstone dust. Place an obsidian block right here, grab your glass, and place it right there. Then down here, what you're going to want to do is grab a hopper, grab your sticky piston, and place it right there. You're going to go to you're going to want to grab your redstone torch and place it there. Now place a solid block with some redstone dust. Then over here, you're going to place two blocks and then a repeater set to four ticks of delay and a repeater set to one tick of delay. Going into that repeater, or I should say it the other way around, that repeater set to one tick of delay is going to be going into this piston, which on the side of it will have a redstone torch, but don't place it yet because first we want to place our redstone block right here. So place a redstone torch right there, a solid block right here, grab your sticky piston and place it right here with an observer on its face. Then you're gonna wanna place a redstone torch right here and an observer facing upwards. Over here, you're gonna place an observer and that is actually it for that side. Don't activate it yet because it is not close to being done. We still need to do this entire section right here. So to begin, you're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards with an observer on its face facing the middle. Then you're going to place a solid block right here, and then you're going to continue it by two more blocks. Place two repeaters set to four ticks of delay, then a repeater set to two ticks of delay. Place one, two, three observers just like that, then a solid block, another solid block, then a sticky piston, and an observer on its face. And believe it or not, that is actually the entire thing done. So once you have your item in there and you've checked that everything is correct, it's done. It's that simple. So there is the door closing and here is the door opening. So as you can see, we get the nice animation and then it retracts everything. So there you have it, my 3x3 target block door designed for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions regarding the build or any questions regarding Eagle's build, whether it be in how to build it, functionality, or even input methods, feel free to ask me down in the comments section. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!